Well, greetings to you, the city elders of the Tulsa metropolitan area and across the state of Oklahoma. And uh, I'm coming to you this afternoon because my <laughs> my morning uh, presentation uh, announcements was taken down off of YouTube um, and censored. So coming to you a little bit later in the day. Uh, I'll talk to you about that later. First of all, we want to say thank you to everyone who participated and helped with last week's event with David Barton. It was phenomenal. If you weren't able to attend the meeting, please go on our YouTube channel and watch David Barton's presentation from, uh, from Thursday evening. It was transformational. It was reformational. So you don't want to miss that presentation. Also, just uh, we want to thank Kevin Hearn for being there with us. Uh, Ryan Walters, who's running for the uh, state superintendent of schools and uh, then also we had our own um, two leaders Kevin uh, I'm sorry uh, Tim Harris and uh, Alina Ashley who are running for district 4 and district 7 of the Tulsa school board and so we're very thankful for that we trust that you'll uh, support them also this past week we had a meeting with two groups that are critical uh, to our identity and our mission as city elders, and that is Education Reformation and United for Life. Uh, we met initially this past week. We want those of you who were in that meeting to please be faithful and show up because we'll be doing other uh, meetings, follow-up meetings, and so stay plugged in. Uh, this week, uh, we were going to have Dr. Bill Federer uh, on Thursday, but he is in the middle of a move and that did not work out. Uh, we apologize for that. Uh, this this week, we'll be talking about the vision and mission, clarifying the mission and uh, setting goals and objectives for the year. And so you, you're not going to want to miss this Thursday, uh, January the 13th. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, the task force groups, I just want to mention these quickly. The task force groups, United for Life, Business, Executives, Education Reformation, the International Team, Intercessors, Pastors, Senior Council, Government Team, Operations, Administration, our State and National Team, and our Events Team. Um, please, everyone, be faithful. Uh, our objective this year in terms of initiating a membership of City Elders is to be able to steward uh, the giftedness of, of each of you and to, for for everyone to be plugged in on a specific focus group and helping to push together. We're seeing tremendous victories. And the more we get organized and mobilized, uh, the, the, the greater effect we're going to have. We're very excited about the victories. Uh, this Friday, a uh, couple vehicle loads of leaders from city elders will be going to Springfield and working with Family Research Council and our state coordinator in Missouri, uh, Jerry and Kate Angelo. And so there are 120 leaders coming together in Springfield. Uh, and um, this is a meeting to help the, re the Senate replacement for uh, United States Senator Roy Blunt, who is going to be retiring. And so we're excited about what God is doing in Missouri. We're going to have an hour and a half sit down with the Secretary of State, who is whose name is Jay Ashcroft. Uh, Jay is the son of former Attorney General John Ashcroft under the Bush administration, and also the grandson of Robert Ashcroft, the former uh, president of CBC College in Springfield. And so he's going to be running for governor, and we want to get in at this level, lay the foundation for city elders, and we're trusting and believing that uh, uh, Governor Ashcroft-to-be uh, will help us in the implementation of the City Elders' mission and vision in Missouri. We're growing on every hand. We, we have caught a wave of something that God is doing. Our objective is not to try to make something happen. Our objective is to keep up with the wave of what the Holy Spirit's doing uh, and stay on the, um, Not it's not a wakeboard, what is it, it's a... Uh, um, when you're riding a wave, the surfboard, we just, <laughs> we just want to keep our feet firmly on the surfboard, uh, of what God is doing. So, uh, just a, another quick announcement, um, in the upcoming updates that we do for city elders at the beginning, I'm going to include a two minute devotional. 
It's going to be a two minutes of timeless truth uh, or two minutes of transformational truth. And we just want to highlight specific biblical eternal truths that can be an encouragement to you each Thursday. Um, and well, I, actually, every time we do an update. And so we want to keep it short, brief, but we want it to be powerful. We want it to be a blessing to you. And so I'm already right now at five minutes and 24 seconds, so I got to get off here. I hope to see you tomorrow at City Elders at the Tulsa Marriott Southern Hills at 8.30 a.m. Intercessors at 7.45. Um, if you're getting this and you haven't participated, come be a part of uh, something significant. We say um, come join us and help change the world. Uh, we believe that City Elders is going to be that impactful this year is going to be incredible, the growth, the expansion. We're, we've got the tools in place now. And so uh, thank you for your heart, for protecting children, for protecting the unborn, for protecting our families, getting in the gates of the city and affecting uh, what government does through prayer and intercession and uh, encouraging people to uh, vote, uh, to engage and to run for office themselves. Uh, we're perfectly positioned between the church and the state uh, to affect the kingdom of God. So thank you, love you, and uh, hope to see you tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. at the Tulsa Marriott.